Okay, guys, let's give it a minute here to get some people in here, get this live chat going. We got the pumpkins back here and the uh, skeleton. Where is my camera even? Oh, it's up there. <laughs> okay. Halloween guy on YouTube. All right. I got to get this uh, shared here. So... I don't know if you can see me still when I'm flipping back and forth. All right. Everything Freddy Fazbear, Jam, jam and Hunts, Rockaween Adventures. All right. Give me a minute here, guys, while I share the link a little bit. All right. Let's see. I'll be right with you. Almost there. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's, all right. X Teen Featurette. Hi, Halloween Collector. All right, now I got to make sure that I put a link. In here to what we're watching, guys. We are going to watch Spirit Halloween, the movie. And it is available right now on Tubi for free. So if you guys don't actually have the movie, you can go to Tubi. Just search Tubi Spirit Halloween. Or if you have the Tubi app on your TV or, you know, wherever you're going to access this, go to T-U-B-I. And you can watch Spirit Halloween, the movie, for free. I'm going to post a link here. If I can get it to come up. There we go. Okay, Let's see if I can put a link in. Figure out if I can uh, pin that. I'm not sure if I can or not. How does this look and sound to you guys? I know it looks kind of grainy to me, but I think it's because I have most of the lights off down here. Pin message. All right, there we go. So the link is pinned at the top of the chat. And I guess that's all I can do right at the moment. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody joining. Ash, Waylon, uh, Bobby, Halloween Collector, anybody else I haven't mentioned. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Nate, are you going to flagship? Yeah, I definitely am going to flagship. Sharon Walters, how's the weather back home? Oh my gosh, it is, I don't know what the temperature is right now. I think it's in like the 40s right now, but you, as usual in Ohio, we're having like snow, sleet, rain, and then it'll get nice. and It'll be like 60, almost 70, then it'll bounce right back down to like 20. It's crazy. Hi, Devour. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Living in Louisiana now. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Brittany. All right. So I have this set up where, hi, Katie. Um, hi, Brittany. Hi, everything Freddy Fazbear. I already said hi to you, you nut. <laughs> hi, Rudy. So anyway, so I have it set up. So that on my main channel, there's a little video that's going to go up at about a quarter after seven. And it's going to let everybody over there know that I'm live over here. So hopefully we'll be getting a bunch of people to come over to this channel to join in the live. That'll be really cool. 
<clears throat> we can't wait for Spirit Halloween to open back up. I love going to all the stores and seeing the animatronics. You inspired me to do my channel. That's totally awesome. I can't wait to start seeing what they're going to have this year. Although it's funny because, like, I kind of don't want to see it. I would love to just wait for Flagship and not have any idea, not see anything that's coming and just walk into Flagship and see all the animatronics and the new props just for the first time at Flagship. But that's like impossible to do because everybody posts it online. Everybody's making videos. So there's no way to just ignore it. So, but I am excited to see what's coming up. Halloween guy on YouTube. Nate, who's your favorite actor if you had to choose one? Mine is Robin Williams. Oh, man. That's, that's way too hard of a question. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, because I go in waves like... Like, I will be on, like, an Arnold Schwarzenegger kick for a little while, and I'll be watching every single Arnold movie, and then I'll just bounce from one person to the next. And I'm always like, oh, this is my favorite actor, like Billy Bob Thornton in Sling Blade. Man, I love that movie. And so I'll start watching Billy Bob movies and just crazy. Am I going to see the eclipse? No, I'm not really going anywhere to see the eclipse. I live in Ohio, um, so... I'll be stepping out my front door and whatever I can see of it from my house, I'm just going to see it from here because it's going to be absolutely insane here in Ohio. So I'm not trying to drive anywhere. Hi from San Antonio. All right, man. I miss San Antonio. The, uh, the river walk. I, I, I want to get back to that river walk. Um, what the heck is the movie up there? Cloak and Dagger. If you've not seen Cloak and Dagger, you got to watch Cloak and Dagger and then go down to the Riverwalk in San Antonio and walk the whole thing. And you'll see where most of that movie was filmed. Totally awesome. Cloak and Dagger from the 80s has Elliot in it from E.T. All right, let's see. When does Spirit release what animatronics will be in store? Um, You know, usually, I mean, I think it's around like July, June, July, but... I don't know, man. I mean, everybody's starting to do Halloween stuff earlier now. So it probably could be any day when they start giving us teasers. How many people we have in here right now? I can't even tell by this. Oh, 28 people, 13 thumbs up. Guys, make sure you give a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel. Every Saturday night, we're doing Saturday Night Snack and a Movie, and it's going to be totally awesome. And if you guys like this format right here where we go live and watch a movie together, then maybe we'll try to do that a little bit more often. I don't go live very often, but um, but I'm having fun so far. <laughs> and I love decorating like with these guys back here. And we're going to watch a spooky movie. And uh, Tubi has all these movies free. So are you doing a halfway to Halloween special this month? Definitely. Yes, I will definitely be doing that. <clears throat> we'll drink. So I got my skull glass here. I gotta figure out where my camera is. Somebody actually sent me this. I think it was Carla that sent me this. And I got my popcorn in a skull bowl here. I got this from Party City, actually. Pretty cool. All right, so anybody who is just joining, there is a link pinned in the chat at the top, and that will take you to where we're going to watch the movie. It's called Tubi, T-U-B-I, and it is free. You don't have to sign up for anything. You just go to the website or go to the app on your TV or wherever you're watching and um, you know follow that link, and you'll be able to watch right along with us. We're going to start it here in just a little bit. I wonder if they will send out those sneak peek boxes like they did last year. Would love to get one to open in a video. I mean, I can't imagine they're not going to. I was just thinking about that earlier today, too. And uh, they could be showing up at any time. I'm going to kick back here a little bit, get comfortable, start getting ready for the movie. <laughs> How many of you guys have seen this movie? I know it came out a couple of years ago now. Um, in fact, at Flagship, when it first was coming out, they had the actors from the movie um, at Flagship that year. 
think that was two years ago. You got the ghost face blanket from Spirit. Turn this a little bit here. All right. This is pretty cool, guys. We got 33 people in here right now. Get ready to watch the movie. <laughs> I don't know why I get so excited when it's movie night. Just because it's fun. Mary Beth says, yes, we've watched it numerous times. Always fun. I got it on DVD and I ordered the Blu-ray. I haven't watched the Blu-ray yet, but obviously I've watched the DVD a couple times. And uh, and I, I was so excited when I saw that it was coming on Tubi for free. This is the first thing I thought. We could all watch it together. <clears throat> Shannon says we just watched it again this week. We watch it a lot. Hi, Terry. <laughs> My daughter loves the spirit movie. It's honestly good. It is a good fun movie. Um, where's Marion? She's actually upstairs. She doesn't have any interest in watching this movie, but I wouldn't doubt it if she hops in the chat here in a little bit. Nate, what's your favorite scary movie? I mean, okay. If I have to say what my favorite scary movie is, it's probably Scream. Um, although Nightmare on Elm Street is definitely up there. So, like the original, the very first Nightmare on Elm Street. And it's it's tough for me to choose favorites. You guys always ask me what's my favorite this and that. And it's so hard for me to choose favorites because I love everything. Freddy versus Jason. I love it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everything Freddy Fazbear. I saw it in theaters. Sweet. When I was, um, let's see. I went out, and you guys probably already know this, but I filmed the Spirit Halloween in Rome, Georgia, where this movie was actually filmed. And is it on here? Yeah, you can't see it on the box here. But, um... The spirit Halloween that they actually go to in this movie, it is a real functioning spirit Halloween, and it really is in an abandoned Toys R Us. So I went there, and I filmed it, and it was totally awesome. And I was not there at the right time, but they were actually showing this movie in the local theater. And I can't think of the name of the theater, but it's also the one that's in the movie. So that would have been really cool to see that. This would be awesome watching Mac and me in this type of live stream. We Maybe we can do that. I, I was just thinking the other day I need to give that one another shot because I absolutely love E.T. Um, and I started watching Mac and me before and I just couldn't get into it. But I'd be willing to give it another shot. Oh, I wish Tubi worked in my country. What country are you in? <clears throat> Have you seen Oppenheimer? Yep. Yep, watched that just about a week or two ago. Great choice. I was Michael Myers for Halloween. That's awesome. Do you remember the movie Motel? Heck, that thing was hilarious. I don't know if I ever saw that, to be honest with you. I probably did. Some Nightmare on Elm Street movies are on Netflix. That's right. I just saw that. I think it's um at least three and four. I know the Dream Master is on there. I have not bought. I think I have part four. No, I have one and part four, I think, on DVD. I don't have any on Blu-ray because I've been holding out for 4K and they have not released it yet. I might have to break down and get the Blu-rays. Hello, Christy. What's up? We're big fans from San Antonio. You think you'll ever spirit tour down here? I'd like to. I'd like to come back to San Antonio. I was just saying, and it might even have been... To you, but I don't. I don't think so. I think it was somebody else said they were from San Antonio, and um, I was just saying there was a movie called Cloak and Dagger from the '80s that was filmed down at the Riverwalk and in a couple of different areas in San Antonio, like the Alamo. Um, and I was down there and I filmed some of those those areas, and it was really cool. So I'd love to get back there. You should check out Monkey Man. <laughs> Oh, you saw it and it was good? I saw the trailer for that and I was wondering because it it's one of those things that could be so cheesy or it could be really good. So, it, it, to me, I don't know. I think it's going to be good. 
Maslin Tigers, number one. That's what I'm talking about. Could you ever go to Tucson, Arizona? I was in Arizona. I don't think I was in Tucson, though. Um, I know I filmed... Oh, I think is Kingsman, Kingman in Arizona. I know I filmed the Spirit there. I think I was in Arizona, and maybe one other one, um, but I don't think I've I've been to Tucson yet. Can you do a Disney zombie movie? That's that's a good possibility. Um, I do have a special zombie thing that I bought a while ago to make snacks for a movie night. And I have not used it yet. So maybe I'll use it for a Disney zombie movie. Let's see. On Halloween, will you do a stream with your son? Um, That's a possibility. I don't know. I don't know if he's got anything planned yet or what he what he's going to do. Last year, we did a stream when we were um during Trick or Treat from that inflatable haunted house. And uh, that was pretty cool. We had a ton of kids running through there. And I gave somebody a shoe. <laughs> I had a shoe that looked like Johnny Punk's shoe, and I signed it, and I wrote, what are those on it? And some kid came up trick-or-treating, and I gave him the shoe. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> Have you seen Rocket Man 2019? Um, I think that's the Elton John movie, and I don't think I've seen that. I think I started to watch it. Um, I, if I did, though, I might have got... I must have got it um, interrupted, because I don't recall watching the whole movie. Okay, yeah, it was Kingman, Arizona. Inspector nine, nine, Inspector 99 Percy. Hi, Nate. I'm really enjoying seeing your recent videos of you doing regular chores around your house on the Romancing the States channel. It's cool to see you back at your house. Yes. So right now, I'm trying to get stuff done outside, some yard work so that it looks nicer out there. I just put something together today up in the kitchen. Um, and I started something else down here, and I'm making videos of those as well. Um, up on that channel right now, I just put our trip to Alaska and threw some people off because that was our trip from back in October when we went to Alaska to film The Spirit Halloween. So next up is going to be our trip to Hawaii, and that was also filmed in October when we went there to film The Spirit Halloween. So if you guys want to see that, go over to the Romancing the States channel and uh, and subscribe there, and you won't miss any of the stuff that's going on around here. <laughs> Boo, Maslin. <Urgh. laughs> Jam and Hunts, we'd love to have you come to South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, Conway, Florence, Charleston, tons of stores around. Um, I've been to... Uh, South Carolina, Hilton Head. Is Hilton Head in South Carolina or North? I think it's South Carolina. I've been to Hilton Head several times. There's actually a restaurant there that I would literally drop what I'm doing right now and drive all the way to Hilton Head just so I could eat at this restaurant. It's called San Miguel's. It's a Mexican restaurant right on the marina. Oh my gosh, it is so absolutely delicious. That's it. I'm going bye. <laughs> All right, Chris says, my wife, Christy, son, Alex, wrote you, and you read it. We're in Tucson. I read it when I was in Tucson. Or you guys are from Tucson. Maybe you're from Tucson. Dylan Dog is a good zombie movie filmed in New Orleans. Oh, cool. You know, maybe you know this. Um, a few years ago, I was in New Orleans, or not at New Orleans, New Orleans. I was in Louisiana, and I wanted to go uh, make a video of the filming locations from Because of Wind dixie And I drove all the way to this place called Napoleonville. And man, when I got there, I mean, I spent like a week mapping out all these filming locations. And when I got there, the place was a dump and I was like scared to get out of the car. <laughs> so I didn't even take any pictures. We drove through one time. We got lost. It got dark. Something was going wrong with the car. And, um, and then we got the heck out of town the next day. But 
I would love to see somebody take pictures of those locations and uh, and do like a side by side because especially the library and the movie it was beautiful and when I got there in real life it was falling down and crumbling it was just unbelievable that's what I think of when I think of Louisiana okay so for anybody who has joined and doesn't know this yet um, obviously you know we're going to be watching the Spirit Halloween movie and it is on Tubi right now and there is a link that is pinned at the top of the chat there if you want to click that um, open it up in a different uh, window or something so that you can stay in the chat and enjoy the live while we watch the movie I'm probably not going to have the sound on here and I can't show you the screen because of copyrights but that's why um, we're doing this with Tubi because it's free. Anybody can watch it, and we can all sit here and watch it in our own home and, and enjoy it together while we chat here. Nathan Burrell. Hi, Nate. Love your content. We'll be buying your shirt or two. Oh, that's awesome. And he's referring to this probably, Saturday Night Snack and a Movie t-shirts. I love these things. <laughs> Have you seen Return of the Living Dead 1980? Oh, man, a long time ago. But, yeah, I definitely have seen it. I'm getting tired of spirit Halloweens. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> don't go anymore. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot more stuff out there, and I would love to film all of it. But, man, there, time goes by so fast, especially when I'm out there and I'm running around trying to get to, like, every state. Because, as you guys know, I've filmed Spirit Halloween in every single state now, 50 states. And uh, next year, or, I mean, well, this coming season, I'm going to be hopping over to Canada a little bit. So, if there's anybody in here from Canada, you get to look forward to that. I will be in Canada filming some Spirit Halloween stores. I'm tired of there being no more. Oh, I see what you mean. So you wish they were open right now, too. So do I. Although, if they were open year-round, I don't know. You might kind of get bored of them because it would be like the same stuff. And they would still wait until the next year to put out the new stuff. So, I don't know. That'd be interesting. I think they should have one store open year-round. Like maybe the flagship store or something. I should buy a store. I should buy a Spirit Halloween store and be the only one that stays open year round. I have a continuous 24-7 live stream in the store. There you go. <laughs> we saw the storage unit video. Your unit is really big. Yeah, that thing's huge. It's 10 by 30. Enormous. Okay, so we have 42 people in here right now. Guys, make sure that you hit the thumbs up. It helps to tell YouTube to push this video to other people, and not just this one, but other videos on the channel. Had an itch. Um, and I think we might have a couple new people in here. We're going to be watching the Spirit Halloween movie on Tubi. And there's a link for that at the top of the chat there if you want to click on that and open it in like a new window so that you can be in the chat and watching the movie at the same time. And we're going to get that going here in just a few minutes. Let me just make sure here that that other video posted. And it didn't. So, let's see. Can you guys believe that we are up to 395,000 subs on the other channel? That is insane. 395,527 to be exact. You guys rule. Okay. Oh, crap. Now I, I got to go put a link on that. So give me just a minute here. 
share the link on that video and then we will where is it There we go. Be right back with you guys. Okay, there we go. Had to put a link under the video on the other channel. See if we can get some more people to come over here and get ready to watch the movie. What do you think, guys? Do you think we should do this more often? Just watch movies live, even if it's not on a Saturday night? Because I like making the Saturday night snack and a movie videos um, that I actually edit together. But I think this might be fun to do as well. Test channel. Is Canton Center Mall doing okay? Man, Canton Center Mall is completely shut down, um, except for JCPenney. But there are no external entrances open to Canton Center Mall anymore. There's the strip mall on the front that has stores like, I don't know, Deb and Chipotle, and there's a Domino's out there and several things like that. Um, those are open, but those do not open into the former mall. And the part of the mall that used to be open to the public is now closed. Um, the back end of the mall is supposed to be becoming a big storage facility as far as I understand. Um, but that's been over a couple of years they've been working on that. And um, maybe I shouldn't say this, but if you're an explorer and you go around what used to be Macy's back in the back and O'Neill's and you're heading over towards Walmart, um, there's actually like, it looks like an alleyway where they've cut out part of the building between the old Macy's and the rest of the mall. And I don't know if it still is, but just a few months ago, you used to be able to walk right in there and into the old part of the mall. That's how people were in there making videos. I don't know if anybody's been caught. I don't think I would try it because if you do get caught, you know, that's just trouble. So, um, but anyway, there's your Canton Center news for the day. <laughs> Guys, I think Nate secretly works for Spirit and knows about 2024 animatronics. <laughs> I wish, I wish they would, they don't even talk to me, man, but I wish they would. And I wish they would give me some insight because I, I would keep it a secret. I'd team up with the secret keeping cat and we would not tell anybody. Do you remember the Burnsville Center Mall in, is that Minnesota? How badly empty it was. Apparently, there are new owners and it's being revitalized and new tenants brought in. Wow. Uh, well, I mean, it's not unheard of for a mall to actually be thriving nowadays, even though most of them are abandoned. Um, we've got Belden Village Mall right up here and it's always hopping. So... You never know. I mean, it could come back to life. You should do more yard cleaning videos. <laughs> I got a lot of them coming because I got a lot of stuff to do out there. So have you seen the American Horror Story static prop? Hmm, Maddie K. I don't think I've seen that. I did see, you know, of course, I did a video about it. The, um, the new Megan prop, the full-size Megan prop. That's pretty cool. I think she needs to be a little thicker, but what a word. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's weird. Anyway, uh, let's see. Hey, from Liverpool, England. Awesome. Phil Hudson. Yes, everybody hit the like button. We got 55 people in here right now. 38 likes. Nate, are you ready for next year, 2024? I'm ready. I'm so ready for to get some more Halloween going here. Do you know why Jeffrey Jones, the father in Beetlejuice, isn't in the sequel this year? No, I do not know that. I did see something come across Facebook, 
but I didn't read it. It's 728 right now, guys, by my clock. At 7.30, we're going to go ahead and get the movie started. We got 55 people in here right now. Um, we're watching this movie on Tubi, and I cannot show it to you right on here because I would get a copyright claim. But that's why we're doing this tonight, because it's available to be watched on Tubi for free right now. And there is a link at the top of the chat. Or you can go to your Tubi app on your TV or wherever you want to watch it and click that. And it's on there for free right now. You don't even have to sign up for anything. When are you going to cover the Lowe's and Home Depot leaks for Halloween 24? Assume you're always busy traveling, but you never do for some reason. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cover those or not. Just because so many people already have. Um, I, I thought they were going to be releasing them like very soon here. And... I don't know. As soon as I see something official from them, I'll probably, I'll probably make a video about it. But there's just there's so many people who who do the sneak peeks and and uh, you know the leaks and that. So I just kind of wait for stuff to be actually put out there by the company so that we can see a better view of them, better video and pictures and stuff like that. Claire, Madame Ladybug, and Madame gunslinger or madam however you say it <laughs> hey nate i love your videos keep up the great work my boyfriend and i are big fans of halloween awesome that's cool cinnamon roll i love your videos hi darlene ryan videos are you going to los angeles california spirit halloween this year i don't think i i'm probably going to stay closer this year i was all over the states last year and, um, and I'm probably going to be closer to home this year. Um, I would love to go to... What the heck? I was just thinking about this earlier. Salem. Salem, Massachusetts. I'd love to get to Salem, Massachusetts this year. I've been there one time to film Spirits. And that was it. So, Okay. So, guys. It's time to start this movie here. If you guys have not yet, click on that link at the top. You can right-click on it and choose Open in a New Window if you're watching on, uh, on a laptop. Or you can watch it on your TV. You can watch it on your phone, iPad, any other device you want. It's on Tubi. There's a link at the top of the chat here. And it is free to watch. And Tubi has a ton of awesome movies right now. But, um... Yeah, so we have it on here right now. I got the sound turned down because if it's heard on this video, I'll get a copyright claim. But I've seen this movie, I don't know how many times, so. There we go. I got it up just a tiny teensy bit so I can hear it. Let me know. Are you guys turning on right now? Are you going to watch the movie with me? Do you think it's a good idea to go as a Ghostbusters for Halloween? I think that's an awesome idea. There might be like a ton of people um, going as Ghostbusters this year, though. Look at this. In this, uh, right back here, in my movie posters, you can see a reflection uh, from the TV. <laughs> I, okay, it's not enough where it'll get caught like by the YouTube bots. I don't want to get in trouble. Turn it just a little bit there. How funny is that? What the heck is that other re reflection right there, too? It's a reflection of the laptop, I think. Crazy. Okay, here it comes. What do you guys think of this movie, anyways? I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it's a little cheesy, but it's meant to be that way. It's meant to be something that that kids can watch. And I was thinking about what animatronics that I actually have from this movie. And I have um, Mr. Dark. And I have Nightcrawler. But I don't have Buzzsaw. Did Facebook ever fix the auto-approving? I now only participate in the group, but don't post anything. That's Tiger Lord. 
No, I don't know what's up with that. Um, anytime anybody made a comment and I knew it was somebody legit, I always pre-approved and, uh, and it for some reason worked for a little bit and it doesn't now. So I, I will approve them though. If you make a comment. It's the lost mid thing I've ever seen. Like, I wish they didn't spend it all on Christopher Lloyd. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think there's definitely things that could have been done better in this movie. But um, but it's still just a fun, spooky movie. And, I mean, think about this. What if we didn't have a Spirit Halloween movie? So I, I'm glad to just have it for what it is. Is anybody else eating popcorn from a skull? <laughs> I wish I had little skelly bones in my room year round. I got little skelly bones in the uh, storage unit. I'd like to get the one on the swing. I think he's just called Swinging Skelly Boy or something, though, isn't he? Chris, when I watch movies, I put butter on milk duds. What in the world? What do you like? Melt it and pour it over them? I was eating milk duds and it pulled my fillings out. That's why if you've heard me talk about getting implants back here, I had two teeth that I ended up having pulled and I'm going to have implants put in in about a month here. It's because I was eating milk duds and they pulled my fillings out. That pretty much sucked. Remember me? I'm the blonde hair kid from Flagship. <laughs> Thunder Games 2024. <laughs> oh, man, do you know how many blonde-haired kids I saw at Flagship? <laughs> but if I saw your face, I guarantee I would remember you. I remember faces really good. We're sad that the 99-cent-only stores are closing, closing. Now, is that Dollar Tree or is it just the stores that are called 99-cent stores? I do like how they filmed this movie, especially this part where the kids are on the bikes and they got the uh, the camera like up above like a drone shot. I know the name is confusing. It's a combo of my name and my boyfriend's YouTube name. And I will be watching with the movie with you, Nate. Awesome. The library might actually be pretty good for Saturday night. I treat the Cuyahoga County ones like Blockbuster. Heck yeah, the library that we have here in Maslin, the main library, they've got a huge selection of DVDs. I don't think I've ever filmed it. I should go in there and make a segment for next week's Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Because literally, I bet you anything... They went to, like, family video when they were going out of business and just bought them out. I mean, they got so many movies. The beginning of this movie kind of has a Stranger Things vibe to it. And if you guys are watching right now, I don't know if you've made it to this point or not. It's where they're pushing their bikes and they're about to see the uh, the Spirit Halloween store. And it's funny because there's all like this, this uh, industrial stuff behind them, buildings and stuff, when they walk up to the fence. 
that's behind them. And then when it changes the the view and you see behind the kids as they're walking towards the Spirit Halloween, it's not really like that in real life. In that area, that uh, that industrial stuff doesn't exist. So they filmed it in two different areas to make it look like this Spirit Halloween store was like in the middle of this abandoned spooky area. The Halloween Factory. Oh man, this makes me want Spirit to open up right now. <laughs> Any thoughts on physical media? going forward leaving stores like best buy i've stocked up since personally that's tiger lord um yeah i mean i love physical media i keep buying it and i wish it wasn't going away um but everybody is moving towards this model now where like you buy it and it's only yours until they decide to take it back so when you buy physical media you actually own it. No, you don't own the movie on it. I get it. There's Mr. Dark. and uh, But you own the disc. You can watch it forever. Nobody's ever going to come take it back at any time. But the way it's going, when you're streaming, if you buy something, you don't actually own it. They can take it away at any time. Plus, they can change the movie at any time. Like if some of these people whine and cry because something's offensive in a movie... They can take that part out of the movie and you won't ever see that again. But if you own a VHS even, or a DVD or a Blu-ray, then um, that's always going to be in there. So the acting in this movie is not the greatest. It's kind of cheesy, but... It's so cool sitting here right now, knowing that we cannot go into a Spirit Halloween store um, at this time of year. But at any time, you can turn on this movie, and it takes you right into the store. Only three months till July, and you know what that means. Spirit Halloween flagship. Yes. D-Max, did you hear the leaks about the 2024 theme? No, I didn't. I haven't heard anything yet. Crusty Buttons go to a Halloween store. I mean, I could do that. There is one Halloween store in my area that stays open all year long. But I filmed it so many times, I figured people were getting sick of seeing it. Someone told me the Halfway to Halloween trailer comes in May or June. That's from Brandon. Are you referring to like, uh, like the Sneak Peeks trailer from uh, from Spirit? That would be awesome. That Halloween guy on YouTube, film it again. So, I don't remember the last time I filmed it, probably just a couple months ago. But in case you guys don't know, I have yet another channel 
call that Nate guy on Halloween. And that's where I've been posting stuff like that. I'm trying to only keep Spirit Halloween stuff on the main channel. And then that's why I started this one so we could do the uh, the movie nights on this channel. And then I do all the other Halloween stuff on that Nate guy on Halloween. So, yes, I have four channels. <laughs> Party place, that's it. What are you going for Halloween this year? The super horror heroes. That's a good question. I usually go with uh, my brother and his kids. And a bunch of people in his neighborhood trick or treating, and uh, and I didn't dress up last year, but I want to this year. I have no idea as what, but um, something awesome. I'd love to wear maybe like a uh, an inflatable Stay Puft or something. Got to be something big because I'm a big guy. <laughs> Rusty Buttons, what's your favorite cheese? <laughs> American. I should go as Home Depot. <laughs> One year I went as a high C juice box when I was a kid. I just took a box and I painted it like a high C juice box. And then I used a uh, uh, wrapping paper tube in it like a straw and it was actually i painted it striped like on this south park mall in strongville strongsville they have a store called halfway to halloween is that what you're saying that would be awesome I wanted Heckles so bad I bought poor George because Heckles got recalled and ran out of my allowance. Oh, yeah, I was bummed out when Heckles got recalled because he was the one that I really, really wanted. And um, and so I was so glad when they brought him back. And I remember I was in Redding, California when I when I found him. They only had one of them in the store and I snatched him up so quick. Miss Bubblegum and Friends, what's your favorite Halloween movie? Hmm. I don't know. But uh, specifically Halloween, I would probably have to say the original 1978 Halloween. However, every year before I even watch that, and these aren't really movies, but I watched The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. And Disney's Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Those just are the best ever. They get you right in the Halloween spirit. And I gotta say, Hubie Halloween is awesome. I love Hubie Halloween. I bet you I've watched that movie 200 times. I'll literally sit outside in a hot tub and watch that movie. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why? Yeah, I got rid of him, D Max.
So if anybody's watching along with me right now, the movie theater that they're in right now, that's actually a movie theater in Room, Georgia. And they showed this movie there um, when it came out. That's definitely one thing I would love to do. I would love to go back there to see this movie at that theater. Hi, Nate. It's me, WetJ47. We're back. Hey, haven't seen you for a while. What do I think of The Nightmare Before Christmas? I think it's awesome. Uh, what, what did I just read? Oh, do you like Halloween 4? Okay, so... I've seen Halloween 4 a long time ago, and I didn't like it. Because it's that turning point. I mean, okay, there's Halloween 1 with Michael Myers. Halloween 2 with Michael Myers. Halloween 3 that doesn't have Michael Myers. And then when I come back to Halloween 4 with Michael Myers... As far as I remember, because it's been a long time since I've seen it, it's that point where they start the whole thing about like um your like somebody's soul being taken over and blah blah blah. That to me kind of kills the story. It's scarier if it's just a regular guy walking around killing people. Um so I didn't like it when I first saw it, but I did just buy Halloween one, two, three, four. Five and H20 all on 4K. <laughs> so I'm going to be watching Halloween 4 again very soon because I want to give it another shot. Sometimes that happens. If I don't like a movie when I first see it and I watch it again later on, then I like it much better because I don't know. Maybe it's just something about like as you get older, you kind of associate with movies differently. Like when you're a kid and you watch a movie, you associate with the kids in the movie. But then as an adult, when you watch these movies, you associate more with the adults. So maybe that's why your taste kind of changes over time. Polluted Turtle. I've been wanting to watch you watch a movie after Saturday Night Snack and a movie, and I finally get my dream tonight. Awesome. Watch it with me right now on Tubi. <laughs> DMAX Productions. Have you heard of my new fan film? For Halloween 1978. No, I haven't. Is it on YouTube? Uh, let's see. VR and Fortnite shorts. Do you like Halloween ends? Um, you know what? I haven't watched it yet. That, uh, I haven't watched it yet. And I haven't bought it yet either. Um... Because I want to make sure that I watch all of them in order. So I think that those three newest Halloween movies, all three go together. Um, I don't know. There's some kind of a tree that I saw that explains like which, where these Halloween stories actually, what follows what, if that makes sense. So I want to watch everything in order. So I can try my best to understand it because the more of these movies they make, the dumber they get because they just have to keep like twisting the storyline and stuff like that. So I don't know, but I haven't seen it yet. Next Saturday, you should watch the Five Nights at Freddy movie. We already did that one. We did that one, um, I don't know, a couple months ago and we made the Five Nights at Freddy pizza box. Nate, why did you choose Grimm to have in your room instead of hugs? <laughs> um, I, th I think only because I had Grimm set up already, so I just left him in there. Um, but he's in my storage unit right now, and I was just thinking the other day I need to set up like some of my all-time favorites in there because um, I'm going to be filming some videos in there of animatronics. And so... I was thinking of setting him up and, of course, Johnny Punk um, and a couple of other ones. So, uh, yeah, but I, I love hugs, man. 
Have you seen Elvis 2022? Yes, I saw it in a theater. Awesome movie. I, in fact, I'm pretty sure I have it in here somewhere. Yeah, I know I bought it. Why do people have to be stupid? Like, if you spam, all I have to do is hit a button and you're gone. So why bother coming in and spamming? Does nothing for anybody. Have you ever watched Toy Story on Saturdays? I mean, I have not done Toy Story for a Saturday night snack in a movie yet. But we definitely will. You... <laughs> Evil fogging cranberry sauce. Yes. I can't wait for that one to be released. <laughs> Hi, William Gaming. Chris Oberjohn. What are those? So I was thinking about making a video. Speaking of what are those, I was thinking about making a video of all my crazy shoes that I have. Because, you know, if you guys have seen my shoes, you know that I like weird shoes. So, like, I have the one pair of LeBrons that have fruity pebbles all over them. And uh, I have several different ones. The ones that I wore to the flagship store last year are, like, yellow and green, and they have tacos on them. So, I need to make that video. I'm going as Ghostface, video game player. Awesome. Was Doc Brown in this movie at the beginning? Yep. Certainly was. Here they go to the Spirit Halloween again. I love seeing these scenes inside the store. We got Buzzsaw there, the Nightcrawler, Jumping Spider, Mr. Dark. We got the Hello Rat. It's funny because there's so many things in this store. The Hello Rat just popped out of the clock. <laughs> There's so many things in this store that they don't actually sell at Spirit Halloween. And guys, I tried to get in this movie. I actually, I was talking to the studio, um, trying to get let them get me, or trying to get them to let me at least do some kind of a little cameo or something. And, uh, and they said they had already wrapped all the filming, so I was too late. But, um, but I have the contact if, uh, if they make another one. So that would be awesome. I would love to be in the Spirit Halloween movie. Yeah, okay, so we got the, the jumping spider there I just saw. It's funny because, like, all the masks and the costumes and everything that are on the walls. Ooh, that's, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name. <sighs> Crap, I can't think of it. An animatronic that Spirit has sold, but it's not like a regular Spirit animatronic. And they have it in this, this movie. But yeah, all the all the costumes and the masks and stuff are things that they do. Oh my gosh, they hear the chicken. The rubber chicken. I actually got that in there sitting on Grim's shoulder right now. But the masks and the costumes are what you really see in the stores. Evelyn Leach. With her husband's head. I know we got a roaming creepy doll somewhere in this movie. Oh, there it is, right there. <laughs> idiot.
<sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to catch that idiot every time he starts posting. Must lead a pretty sad life to have to go on a YouTube chat and flood it with stupid things. Nate, how was the trip to Alaska? It was awesome. It was cold. It was back in October when it was still hot here. So it was funny to go from Ohio to Alaska. And when we pulled into the airport um, in the plane in Alaska and everything was snowy, that was pretty awesome. Hey, Kyle. Stalker VR, hi. I remember when this movie came out, guys. Um all the stores were taking precautions to prevent people from actually trying to hide and stay overnight in the store. There's going to be a new Killer Clowns from Outer Space game coming this year. I did hear about that. My son, that other Nate guy on YouTube, he plays a lot of video games. I, I never play video games anymore, except for the Atari 2600. But uh, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if he gets that game. Braden the Goat. Hello, Nate. Love your videos. Halloween videos are the best. Thank you. Spooky Halloween. Hello, The Undertaker. Did you remember Spirit Halloween Killer Clowns? Certainly did. Christina Bayramoff, are you coming back to New Jersey for opening day of Spirit Halloween? Yes. Lorena Nicole, speaking of Nightmare Before Christmas, which is everyone's favorite, Disneyland or Disney World? I haven't even been to either of those, believe it or not. Super Horror Heroes, hey Nate, next Saturday, do Kung Fu Panda movie night. I do have two of the Kung Fu Panda movies. Hello, M. Hunter. Dragon Fruit Shark, you are the best. Thank you. The best. <laughs> Mr. Fright, happy Saturday, Nate. Thank you. Wobble Bob, hello. My son just did the happy dance. <laughs> That's awesome. The Slimer butt was hilarious. That was hilarious. I regret not buying that thing. It was like 50 bucks at the time when I saw it in the store. And um, now they're on, on eBay for like two, 300 Ridiculous. What's your favorite animatronic spirit has ever made? Um, I think Hugs. Hugs is awesome. Have you seen the new Ghostbusters movie yet? It's so good. Yes, I have seen it. I actually have the um the trap popcorn bucket and the slimer popcorn bucket. Mrs. Bubblegum and friends, can you do an Encanto? 
Saturday night snack in a movie. I may have bought that one recently. I got a stack of a stack of them over here that I bought to do movie nights with, and that might be one of them. I love this movie. <laughs> Which is your favorite popcorn bucket? I assume you're talking about <clears throat> from the Ghostbusters movie. Um, I don't know. I think I like the Slimer. The one from Cinemark where he's holding the red popcorn box. Um, there was another one that was put out by like AMC or something. And it looked really cheap and cheesy. But the one from Cinemark is pretty awesome. The jumping pie. <laughs> I want the animatronic turkey. How's the movie, Nate? The movie is awesome. Things are starting to come to life. There goes Mr. Dark. Okay, if anybody's watching this with me right now, who is the animatronic that's right beside Evelyn Leach? I cannot think of the girl's name. I wonder, um, the Mr. Dark head that they use in this movie, when he comes alive, <clears throat> you can t you can tell it's not a mask, and I think it's actually from the Mr. Dark prop, and I think it's connected to some shoulders, and there must be somebody holding a stick under the robe that's just kind of turning it, because the neck, like the head doesn't turn like a neck. Um, the whole shoulders and everything move uh, like it's, you know, actually the prop. So I'm glad they did that instead of trying to just put a mask on somebody. That would have been so cheesy. Thoughts on the, do <laughs> the Dune popcorn bucket? Oh, my gosh crazy what who ever approved of that does marion watch saturday night with you it depends on what i'm watching she's not a big halloween or spooky movie person so she usually doesn't watch stuff like this with me but if i'm watching something else then yeah she usually does so um Yeah. Do you like the Coraline movie? It's coming to theaters in August for its anniversary. Oh, awesome. It's been a while since I've seen it, actually, but I I think I have it. Did we do that? We may have done that for a movie night. Maybe not. I think I bought it to do for movie night, but we haven't yet. I might go to the theater, though, if it's coming to the theater again. Because I love to see these movies in the theaters. <laughs> I hate Henry Hustle now. Just ignore the idiot. It's the same person, just keeps coming back with a different account. Have you ever thought about buying the shorty animatronic? Actually, I have put him in my cart on the Spirit Halloween website several times. And I just have not pulled the trigger yet. I don't know. There's something about, like, if I can't get a discount, then I don't want to buy it. <laughs> 
you know. Um, and I mean, they give you a 20% discount, but sometimes you get even better discounts if you find codes online that you can use. So I, I have one coming that I paid like 164 and it should have been like twice that. I'm not going to tell you what that is yet. <coughs> You should do Fred the movie for Saturday Night Snack and a movie. Yes. I've been holding off for a certain reason, but we're definitely doing Fred. And it'll probably be, we might even do like a triple feature. Um, because I love all three of those movies, especially Night of the Living Fred. I think that one's my favorite. I actually watched that one just like two nights ago. <laughs> hey Nate, I love Mr. Dark. That's Nick Theodore's vlogs. Awesome. I love him too. Are you going to see Beetlejuice 2 in September? Definitely. Nate, you must do Fred. Yeah. <laughs> oh my damn it. Hey, Nate, do you know who Brandon Ferris is? Yes, he's an idiot. I mean, he's hilarious. I'll give him that. But I just hate when he buys animatronics and then destroys them. Wyatt Metzdorf, The Mummy 1999 comes back to theaters this month. Oh, sweet. That's the one with uh, uh, Brendan. The heck is his name? Why can't I think of his name? Cha cha, Busa. Yo, what's good, Nate? Go was how was Alaska? Noah, Alaska was awesome. I think that was the actual actor that died. It was the one actually controlling the prop head of Mister Dark. Mr. Knuckles, 789, you excited for the solar eclipse on Monday? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I really am or not. I haven't thought a lot about it. Um, to me, it's just kind of like, oh, it's going to get dark for a few minutes. Um, but I'm going to go outside and try to see it. So, Seize him. <laughs> that makes me think of Children of the Corn. ABC Halloween. Me and Nate, I don't have Mr. Dark. I want him so bad. I want him to return. I don't know if he will or not. I, I, I At some point, maybe, because he was a really popular one. Um, same thing with Hexpawn, which was just built on Mr. Dark's frame. Um, I'd love to buy that one, but I don't buy anything with horns. So, watching this live while watching Nate tour Spirit Halloween stores. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Gaming bro. Hi, Nate. Love your Halloween videos. Thank you. Watching Chucky right now. Yes. Okay, here's a question for you guys. Would you spend the night alone in a spirit Halloween store? Rhonda, hello, Nate. 20 days till halfway to Halloween. Yes. <laughs> yeah, most people say, yeah, they would do it. Mm. 
You should do Salem's Lot. Been a while since I've seen that one. Yes and no. The answer is yes and no. How's Marion? She's pretty good. She's upstairs. She won't watch Halloween stuff with me. Sometimes she does. Okay. <laughs> I'd spend the night if a bunch of us were having a party there. That would be awesome. About to wrap up in my Spirit Reaper blanket and start the Spirit movie with my love, Emily. That's awesome. K Sauce GTI, if I'm reading that correctly. And look at this. Oh, well, you can't see it, but. Hey, you can sort of see it. That's my Jake Jack Reaper blanket back there. Mr. Dark and Hexpawn are brothers. What did, I think I said what popcorn are you eating? Yeah, just regular popcorn out of my skull. Just don't pay him any attention, guys. What's my favorite Saturday night snack in a movie that I've done? Hmm. That's a tough one. Um, I'm no good choosing favorites. However, out of the ones I've done, I would have to say I really, really love Dennis the Menace. should make homemade pretzels for one movie. That's a good idea. I'm watching Nightmare Before Christmas wrapped up in a Jack Skellington blanket. <laughs> That's awesome. How much did you pay for this movie? For Saturday, or for uh, Spirit Halloween, it's free on Tubi. There's a link at the top of the chat. Have you seen the recent Chucky movie where he kills the White House employees? What? I haven't seen that. Charles Parker, what's the most interesting place you've seen spirit take over? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I think the most interesting one was in New Mexico. Let me, let me look this up. Um... Because it, it was awesome. It was in a whole, like an outdoor shopping center that was almost abandoned. I mean, it, there was nobody there. Um, let me take a look here. Hold on, Nate Guy. Spirit. I think it was Santa Fe, New Mexico. Let me take a look here. Hold on now. There's Albuquerque. Yep, Santa Fe. Nike outlet store in Santa Fe, New Mexico. You'll have to look it up, but it looked like a, I don't know if Pueblo would be the correct name, but um, it was awesome. I can kind of show you if it'll let me right there. That's the best you can see it right there, but um, you'll have to look it up. Santa Fe, New Mexico. I think that was my favorite one that I've seen. Um, but there's there's been so many. I'm trying to think of what... Man, I've just, I've been to so many of them that I cannot remember where they were fort myers 
No. Yeah, I don't remember. There are floods where I live. Wyatt. Ooh. Yeah, in Ohio here, we were supposed to get hit with, like, tornadoes and everything. And there's areas around us that got flooded, but we actually were spared. <laughs> the diva artist. I love your arts and crafts. See, I need to do more. I need to do more for Saturday Night Snack in a movie. I do have some that I've been holding off on to do on my other Halloween channel. Um, like the, the eight from the movie aliens. Ooh, right there behind me. Where is it? Right there. That poster. Um, I want to make alien eggs. And I was thinking about actually doing that for a movie night and making alien egg popcorn buckets. I think that would be cool. Just might do that. Old Toys R Us was a cool one. Yes, Rocco. I, I, I love it when they're in an old Toys R Us. Those always look awesome. Video game player, Nate, when is the next Fan Mail Friday? Uh, it'll have to be next Friday because I didn't realize yesterday was Friday. And in the evening, I mean, it must have been about 10 o'clock. We were sitting there watching TV and I realized it was Friday. So I got to get to the post office and get my mail. Sunday afternoon crafts. That's a thought. I love this popcorn, but the problem is it has those little skins and they keep like stabbing up into my gums. <laughs> Miss Bubblegum and friends, I have a Jack Skellington hooded pajamas, a sweater, socks and slippers, Nightmare Before Christmas theme. Can you do a nightmare before Christmas craft? Yeah, that would be cool. I should do that. We'll do we'll obviously do that closer to Christmas, but we'll definitely do that. Jam and hunts. We're gonna try to send you something. That would be awesome. Thank you. Who do I think will come back for Spirit Halloween 2024? The jumping spider. <laughs> um I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if they brought Heckles back only because I think a lot more people wanted to buy Heckles and, you know, they either got the first one that was terrible um, or they didn't get him at all because once they fixed him, the people who bought the terrible ones, I mean, you could return it and get the good one. But it wouldn't surprise me if they brought Heckles back. Rebel Yankee Show. Do a Saturday night snack in a movie with Pumpkinhead. Ooh, I haven't watched that one for a long time. Rockaween Adventures. I would love to stay inside a Spirit Halloween store. That would totally be awesome. Braden the Goat. Nate, if you had one animatronic to live with... Who would it be? Hmm. Well, I got Grim set up in my office right in there, and he's been set up for ever since I moved into the house. So <laughs> kind of live with Grim. <laughs> but Mary Beth, Mr. Toots 2024. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, you tell me. Wait a minute. Is Mr. Toots in this movie? I don't think he is. I don't recall seeing him in the movie. Um, but you guys tell me, is Mr. Toots supposed to um, just move so slow? Like when I've seen him in the store, he was just like kind of going, -ee -ee -ee, and that was it. But it seems to me that if he was like moving like a hot rod, whoa, that, uh, that he would be much better, like zipping around the floor. That would be totally cool. Yes, the part with Nightcrawler coming down into the cave. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, when they're underground, it reminds me of the Goonies. 
which I'm pretty sure was what they were trying to do anyway. Nate, do you remember the blood barn in Canton? You could see it from the old Toys R Us on Whipple. It burned down in 97. The blood barn. What, was that a haunted house? I'm trying to think. You could see it from the Toys R Us. Um, wait. What was it? The old Toys R Us on Whipple. Okay, so yeah, I know where that's at. I can't think of the Blood Barn. Was it was it in a, some um, empty retail building or something? Because the only thing I can think of that you can see from that Toys R Us that maybe it would have been would be the old Circuit City. Uh, which is like across the street and down a little bit. I oh, I looked up your recent Chucky movie. It's a sci-fi series, but could be searched on Tubi or Disney. Um, I watched the first season of that. Um, are they on season two or three now? I need to get caught up. Hail Bale Popper. Hey, Bale Popper. <laughs> that would be cool, actually. Gaming Bro, Nate, what's your favorite movie? I don't know. I have way too many favorite movies to, to narrow it down. It was a big red barn. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do not remember that. What's your favorite animatronic that came to life in the Spirit Halloween movie? Probably Mr. Dark. It was on a hill by itself, but it was visible from Toys R Us. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Would love to see you do a video with Wally. It yeah, that's been a while. I need to do another one with him. Have you seen the Shining mini series? I don't think I saw that. Somebody mentioned the burbs up there. Did you did you used to post skateboard videos or was that a fever dream? <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Jealous on here commenting. Um, yes, I did used to do skateboard videos. Just ignore that idiot. <laughs> if it bothered me, it'd be one thing, but why, you know, why this person is like, what a waste of their life right now. To just keep making up accounts so they can come in here and make a stupid comment ten times and be banned. Barnyard Butcher should come back. Yeah. Have you seen Freddy vs. Jason? Yes. I love a Freddy vs. Jason. I actually have... I know I have it on DVD. Um, and I think I have it on Blu-ray somewhere. I have so many Blu-rays in here. Bro made like 20 accounts. Yep, pretty pathetic. Nate, did you ever go to the haunted, the Hudson haunted house? I don't know if it still exists, but it did in the 90s. I don't know if I've been to that one or not. I kind of doubt it because, honestly, I haven't been to a lot of haunted houses. Um, the last one I went to was... the heck is that thing called? Um, the one in Canton here. Of course, I can't remember what it's called. It's, like, right on the tip of my tongue. Um, used to be in the old Hercules factory. 
Um, but it was, it scared the crap out of me. My son took me and him and his, uh, him and his girlfriend, and they were cracking up the whole time. Cause you guys know how I get scared about everything. And uh, so I was jumping and yelling and I loved it. It was pretty cool, but I, I don't know. Like a, a lot of them, I don't go in because I have this um, torn ACL in my knee. And if I twist my knee wrong, then it'll like just collapse on me. So that's why I don't like to go in there because I, I'm afraid that if I got, if I jump because I'm afraid of something that I'm going to twist it and that'll be all she wrote. Then the monster will actually get me. <laughs> Let's see. Angel, I've been watching you since 2019. Awesome. Thank you. Lauren Zelda Ventus. Hi, Nate. My kids love your channel. They're currently waving at you to say hi back. Their names are Zelda and Ventus. Hi! Thank you for watching! <laughs> Block Party Central. Nate, I don't know if you ever react to music, but it would be awesome if you could react to 21 Pilots' new music video, Overcompensate, from a new album, Clancy, releasing on May 17. Hmm. I haven't heard that song yet. I did go to a 21 Pilots concert a few years ago with my daughter, it was awesome. Watch out for the Hauntress. <laughs> Nate, are you going to watch the new Beetlejuice movie? That's Douglas Lintz. Yeah, I definitely am going to watch that. Mac Creek. Sorry if this is a personal question, but how much do you weigh? And are you still doing the low carb diet? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Um, because actually, right now, that question could be answered if you're watching on my other channel, my series called Running from Monsters, because I'm doing these walking challenges. And um, and I tell you what my weight is. On one of those walking challenge videos. In fact, I think it's, I think it's the second. No, I think it's the first one actually. Um, and then as soon as I get done with this next challenge, then we'll have an update. So, if you want to know, watch that series. <laughs> are, are you ever going to Trans World? Um, I would like to. I would like to, and I know there's, um, is it Trans World? I don't know. I know there's something else coming up pretty soon here, like in June. Um, but I don't think I can get to it. Um, I know that like Brick Thunder and a bunch of those guys are going. Um, David's TV is going to be there. Um, but I don't think I can make it because I have too many things coming up that I don't have set dates for yet. So I can't really make any plans to go anywhere or do anything. Rhonda, no, I did not see any kind of spirit leaks yet. Christy, Nate, my sons are loving this. We're having fun watching this movie with you. While you are, it's great. You are great. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm so glad you're watching. I keep getting pulled into it up here. And right now, it's there's a skeleton that I have right there on the couch. <laughs> I wish I could remember the name of that animatronic in the background um, that they keep showing. It's the big, like, circus clown that has the long arms and the long legs. But I can't think of what his name is. There's Mr. Dark's head. Nate, have you ever seen a ventriloquist show? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, aside from like that one comedian that has the 
puppets, whatever you call them. Hey, Nate, I've never been to a flagship store. I always wanted to go. Maybe I go this year. I don't know. It would be cool. It's it's fun. Lots of people there. Cuddles, yes. Yes, it's Cuddles. And what's the other one um, that is, it's not a clown, um, It, but it looks exactly like him, but it's not a clown, if that makes sense. Um, it, that one's also right on the tip of my tongue, and I cannot think what the heck it's called. <laughs> I'm having a blast watching Spirit Halloween with you. Where can I watch it? Tubi. T-U-B-I. It's free. Chipotle or Moe's? I've never had Moe's, um, so I'd have to choose Chipotle. Go to the flagship store July 27th. If that's the day they open, Catacomb Creature. Yes, thank you, ABC Halloween. That I I love the catacomb creature and I don't have it. So here's the funny thing: if you're watching this movie right now, the big the bear that comes to life, like the big teddy bear, I'm pretty sure they got that teddy bear head from Walmart. Nate, do you remember how Spencer's in Belden Village Mall used to have those amazing Halloween masks in the '90s? Ooh, man. I bet if I saw a picture of that, it would bring back the memories. Underworld Clown. I'm trying to think of what... Underworld Clown might be another name for Cuddles. Because you know how they put out these animatronics and sometimes they have different names like the Harvester of Souls? At Spirit, it's called Harvester of Souls, but then other places it's called like something totally different. You can still get online and order it from a different company. Same prop, but has a totally different name. <laughs> What's the largest meal you ever ate in one sitting? What the heck kind of question is that, man? <laughs> it's hilarious. Maybe if you could bring back any animatronic flashback, who would it be? Hmm. Maybe the mad scientist? That guy was huge. I've never seen him in per in person either. But I almost bought him a couple times on eBay, but he's just so expensive. This movie makes me want to go back to that specific spirit Halloween. Ever see yourself eventually upgrading to high-end animatronics like Distortions? Um, hi, Halloween hooligan, by the way. Going good. I probably will never buy any of those. Um, although, I don't know. You never know. I, I don't get to do a yard hunt because I'm always out filming all season for Halloween. So I haven't got to do a yard hunt for years. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I can't see spending a ton of money on a distortions prop and just to have it sit in storage. You know, I'd love to have them, but. Crouchy Gaming. I live in Tacoma, Washington, so maybe in 2025 you can come to Spirit in Tacoma because I know you're not planning on going to Washington this year. Yeah, I'm not planning on it this year, um, but possibly the next year, although you never know. I mean, I, I honestly don't really have my plans set out yet, but that's pretty far to go um, unless I'm going over to that side of the world for, for other things, too. Nate, I will give you a fan mail for my letter and picture. It's just a surprise for you. Awesome. 
Am I excited for halfway to Halloween? Yes. Can we get a <laughs> can we get a close up of the awesome popcorn bucket? Yep, there you go. Wait, there you go. Skull popcorn bucket. I got this at Party City. I know that's kind of a bad word when we're talking about spirit, but Party City it was like seven bucks. Have you seen Wonka twenty twenty three? I have not. What's your favorite color? I don't know. I don't really have a favorite color. I like orange and green and yellow. I really like yellow. Hi, Nate. Can you please come? Banger, Maine. There's a huge spirit Halloween. First, tell me, is it Banger or is it Bangor? I've heard it pronounced both ways. That was from Creepy, Creaky Circuit. I thought I said Creaky, Creepy Cricket. Creepy Cricket. <laughs> um, have I not filmed one there? I thought I did. Maybe not, but I thought I, I thought I did. Are you planning on visiting Michigan, aka the realm of ABC Halloween? <laughs> I might go to Michigan this year. Am I trading in Goliath? No, I'll probably keep Goliath forever. Emmeline is returning in the Cauldronus. Uh, you know, honestly, I wasn't all that impressed with the Cauldronus. Um, I like the Lowe's Witches better. Um, the White Witches. Was it two of them or just one? I think it was just one. The White Witch from Lowe's last year. I wish I would have bought. Let's do a little look-see here. I wonder... Lowe's White Witch animatronic. I didn't see any videos of anybody who bought this thing, but I loved it. Holy crap, man. Okay, first of all, here's just what I was just talking about a minute ago. Um, Harvester of Souls. If you buy it from Lowe's, it's just called the Soul Sucker. <laughs> And here's the seven-foot animated talking white ghost. Not at Lowe's. Well, okay, wait a minute. On eBay right now for 270 bones. Let's see if you can get it at Lowe's. No longer sold at Lowe's. I wish I would have bought it. Did you guys remember that one? If it'll show you. Never mind. It won't, it won't show you because it's too bright. Seven-foot, haunted living, lighted animatronic white witch. She was awesome, and I should have bought her. But anyways, what we were talking about, the cauldroness. I wanted the cauldroness to be so much better. But the face on her, for one thing... I don't know. I mean, I know a witch is supposed to be ugly. But I just didn't like the face. The face was like, it, I don't know. It didn't do it for me. It's kind of cheesy. Have you, are you ever going back to the Spirit Halloween that they filmed the movie? And I would love to. Rome, Georgia. Um, Nate, you know how Home Depot made a Yoda? I hope they do an E.T. That. I would buy that thing in a split second. I love E.T. <laughs> Mac Creek, you cracked me up. Do I like McDonald's? I love McDonald's. <laughs> Angel, I'm excited for Halloween. In Australia, we don't have Spirit Halloween. That sucks. Do you have any kind of Halloween stores that compare to Spirit in Australia? Um, yeah. I hope you do. The Floating Reaper. Looks good from Home Depot. Ooh, I'll have to look that one up. Do you like Five Below during Halloween? I don't, you know, they never have very much Halloween stuff there. At least the ones that I've been in. Because I've gone in to make some videos before and they just haven't had much. Um, let's see here.
go through on coming to Cedar Hill, Texas. All right. See, I got a son that lives in Texas. So you never know. I could show up there. One more thing. I'll give you my... <laughs> Excuse me. I'll give you my Wet J47 merch shirt for fan mail. Hope you like it. Send it on and I will wear it. I just heard Marion yawn very loudly. Can you come to Las Vegas for Spirit Halloween 2024? Here's the funny thing about Las Vegas. I filmed, I think, three spirits in Las Vegas last year. And since I had Las Vegas in the title, they got really low views. And I think it's because um, because what Las Vegas represents. And so YouTube didn't push them as much as the others. I think I might have gone back and actually put Las Vegas in a title again because I took it out there for a while and I just put something like Spirit Halloween in the middle of the desert. But since I've been to all 50 states for Spirit, I wanted people to be able to just come on and search for that Nate guy, Spirit Halloween in whatever state and find it, you know. Um, so I probably added it back in there. All right, let's see. But I would love to come back to Vegas, and I, I don't know if it'll be at Halloween, but I will definitely be back there at some point. I love it. Nate, pineapple on pizza. <laughs> or not. Um, you know, I usually don't get it, but I will say this. When we went on our cruise, they had a pizza station and my favorite pizza from the whole pizza station was this one that had chicken and pineapple on it. It was pretty dang good. Favorite jump scare. May <laughs> make you pee a little animatronic. <laughs> Demonic Dahlia. Did you know Hobby Lobby used to sell Halloween? That's Charles Parker. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. They used to sell it, and then they quit, and now they only sell things that they call fall. Fall and harvest. But there's still carvable pumpkins there, and as far as I'm concerned, pumpkins and leaves are Halloween. So, um, wait a minute. I missed one. Can't get it to go back. Um... Are you going to <laughs> are you going to make more zombie baby donut videos? Uh, hold on, let me watch this part of the movie here because this is awesome. There's, it's almost over. That's no fair. <clears throat> they were showing the inside of the store after everything had gone to heck. Anyways, I probably will not make any more of those unless I'm just like sitting there messing around one day. Because those were really awesome. I loved those, but they took literally all day long to make one of those videos. It took so much time and effort to do that. <laughs> Burger Brawl Hyper. Nate, say burgers are the best for me. <laughs> okay. Burgers are the best. ABC Halloween. At halfway to Halloween, we have a Halloween store near, near Sterling Heights, Michigan, and they do a big event. That's pretty awesome. Costume contests, meet and greets. That's cool. Can you come to Missouri? That's a possibility. <laughs> Opinion on street lights. They should all be wrapped with skeletons. Anchovy pizza, hit or miss? Definitely miss. Is Mary... Shut up. <laughs> Bye. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I knew about that. Um, this restaurant called Melt's closed. Oh, yeah, I love Melt. Melt was delicious. 
He had vintage Halloween blow molds on display. Dracula, Frankenstein to go with him, though he was never made. Yeah, I used to go to Melt all the time. And um, and one day we ran up here to our local one because we wanted it so bad. And when we got there, it was just gone. I made a video eight months ago about my unboxing of a Saturday night snack and a movie t-shirt. Oh, I'll have to go watch that. I, I can't believe I missed it. I don't know if I like this kid, Carson. He really reminds me of Johnny Punk. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The movie's over. What a bummer, man. That was fun, though. Smelliest cities you've been in. Um, San Antonio. As much as I love San Antonio, it was... Pretty dang stinky. I'll tell you that. Let's see. Do you have a favorite year from Spirit Halloween? Um, Maybe 2019. I think that's the one that had Creepy Towering Clown and Hugs. That was a pretty awesome year. What's your favorite scene in the Spirit Halloween movie? I think my favorite scene in the movie is when they first roll up to the Spirit Halloween. They're riding their bikes all through, and it's the fall, and all the leaves are, are fall colors and stuff, and all the trees. And then they roll by the abandoned buildings in the back, the industrial park, and roll up to the uh, the Spirit Halloween. That's I love that scene right there, because you know something spooky is coming. Have you watched... A new series called Jets and Friends. Haven't heard of that one. It's a horror series. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Nate and Marion have got to be the funniest couple I've ever seen, and I love it. <laughs> Do I think July is the best month of the year? Nah, October. Let's see. Have you ever seen The Gate from the 80s? Yeah, but it's been a long time. I should go. I should order that one. I'd check out Santa, Santa Jaws movie. Okay, I'll have to check that one out. Louisiana has three spirits. Would you come here this year? Um, I mean, it's always a possibility for me to go to Louisiana because that's where Marion's family lives. <laughs> do you think you're a better YouTuber than that other Nate guy on YouTube? You do know that's my son, right? <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'm a better YouTuber than anybody. I think I just like to make YouTube videos because they're fun. And if you guys like them, then that's all the better. Let's see. Got to go, Nate. Thanks for doing this. It was fun. All right. See you later. Yeah, I'm getting ready to sign off here, too. Um, this was definitely fun. And we'll definitely have to do it again. Do I have a list of the animatronics I'm going to get this year? I don't know. I don't even know what they're coming out with this year, but I'll probably buy most of them. I don't know what this movie is now that just came on, but the Spirit Halloween movie, unfortunately, is over, guys. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This was definitely fun. It was definitely fun to pull out the skeleton and the pumpkins and the spirit Halloween and the popcorn and the skull glass. <laughs> the, the crystal skull. All right, guys. I'm going to say goodbye for the night. Thank you for joining. And uh, I will see you guys in another video very, very shortly. Make sure you subscribe, leave me comments below, and uh, thumbs up. All right, peace. I'm out.